Imagine a world where the rivers run dry and the streams are silent. What would happen to our ecosystems, our wildlife, our very way of life? This isn't just a grim fairy tale, it's a very real possibility that we're facing today. Take California for example. In the summer of 2021, the state experienced a historic drought so severe that the water began to taste like dirt. The culprit? Climate change. The extreme heat, coupled with the lack of precipitation, lead to a drastic drop in water levels in reservoirs like Lake Oroville and Folsom Lake. The result? Water that was not only unpalatable but also a sign of a larger, more pressing issue, the depletion of our water resources. But it's not just surface water that's at risk. Our groundwater, which makes up almost all of the freshwater on Earth, is also being drained at an alarmingly unsustainable rate. So much so that by 2023, human activity in the form of excessive groundwater pumping had caused the Earth's rotational pole to shift slightly. This not only contributed to sea level rise, but also had the potential to disrupt ecosystems. The rise in sea levels due to groundwater extraction isn't a minor issue. It's significant, and it can have far-reaching consequences for coastal areas and aquatic ecosystems. We're not just talking about the loss of beautiful beaches or the occasional flooding. We're talking about the potential displacement of millions of people and the loss of numerous species that call these aquatic ecosystems home. Here's the reality. We can't continue to take our water resources for granted. We can't keep pumping out groundwater without considering the consequences. We can't ignore the dropping water levels in our rivers and streams. We need to act and we need to act now. So what can you do? Start by conserving water at home. Turn off the tap while you're brushing your teeth. Fix that leaky faucet. Only run your dishwasher or washing machine when you have a full load. It might not seem like much, but every drop counts. Next, consider supporting organizations that work to protect our water resources. Donate, volunteer, spread the word. Every action, no matter how small, makes a difference. And finally, use your voice. Speak up about the importance of water conservation. Talk to your friends, your family, your community. Advocate for policies that protect our water resources. Because in the end, it's not just about saving water, it's about preserving our planet for future generations, and that's a cause worth fighting for.